there is some exciting relief that comes with coronavirus immunity, which is why a woman from the town of Clay was devastated to be turned away from her second vaccine. When the state's nurse found out she got hives from the first Pfizer shot, the fairgrounds wouldn't give her the next one. The bigger problem, nobody's been able to tell her what to do next. So she turned to the Your Stories team and News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan for help. Patty Hyde from Clay felt great after her first vaccine dose. It wasn't until she got home when she got itchy. Broke out in a little bit of hives on my upper chest and on my arms. And it went away pretty quick and that was it. Hives so minor that when Patty showed up for her second dose here at the state fairgrounds, she didn't expect her experience to alarm the nurse who asked if she had any reactions to the first shot. She went back and talked to somebody and they came back and said, no, we just absolutely cannot give it to you. Wow. Someone will notify you in three, within three, three days. Three days of waiting by the phone, but no calls. Still nothing from the state nine days later. Never got a call. And since then, my husband's been calling everybody everywhere and nobody can give us any answers. I got really frustrated today. That's why we're talking to you, you know, because we don't know what else to do. I've, we're just lost at this point. Responding to my email, a health department spokesperson refers to CDC guidance, which specifically mentions hives within four hours of the shot and advises, quote, if you had an immediate allergic reaction after getting a shot, you should not get a second shot of that vaccine, even if your allergic reaction was not severe enough to require emergency care. She's so fragile. You know, if she catches this, it's, you know, it's not going to be good. So I, we need to prevent it as much as possible. She, her doctor, and possibly an allergist will decide if the next dose is worth the risk. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Now the health department spokesperson commits to contacting Patty. The spokesperson emails, if approved by their doctor, these individuals should receive their second dose in a medical setting that is better positioned to provide immediate care in case a reaction were to occur. New Yorkers should know that while negative reactions to the vaccine are exceedingly rare, we take them seriously.